Johnny, ladies and gentlemen, survivors and righteous heroes, Governor Huckabee, Mrs. Huckabee, Ms. Andrews, my friend Hoffman from the Jewish community, members of parliament from the Israeli Polish Friendship Group. It is a great honor for me to be here this evening with you in Warsaw, an evening where we come together to honor, to thank, and to respect the righteous Polish heroes, people who risk their life in order to save others. My friends, it's no secret that the last few couple of weeks have not been easy for Polish-Israeli relations. But I believe that we are stronger than that. I believe that Israel-Poland relations was strong and should always remain strong. What is needed today is for both sides to invest more, whatever they can, together in order to search for the truth and clarify it, and in order to better understand our common dark history, a dark history made by the cruel and barbaric German Nazi regime. What I mean is not to change history, neither to bleach it, but we should both examine our past and our history in the right way in order for both of us to be on the right side of the history in the future. And this is why I came here today as the Deputy Speaker of the Knesset and as the Chairman of the Friendship Group between the Israeli Parliament and the Polish Parliament. But I'm also here today as the grandson of a Holocaust survivor, a Polish Holocaust survivor, a partisan and a warrior, my grandfather Yaakov Kotowski Pedatsu, God bless his soul. Seventy years ago, more than two-thirds of my family was brutally murdered here on Polish soil by the German Nazis. They were killed because they were Jews, only because they were Jews. Luckily, my grandfather, who was a Jewish Pole from the city of Skulsk, survived. However, my great-grandmother Gitl Kotowski and my great-grandfather Itzha Kotowski, who was a leader in the Jewish community in Skulsk, did not survive. My great-grandfather Itzhak uh, Kotowski was brutally murdered in the German Nazi concentration camp of Majdanek. However, my friends, the fact that I, my, my grandfather survived, came to Israel, built a family, a home, and the fact that his grandson is speaking to you here today as the deputy speaker of the Israeli, of the Jewish state parliament in our own state, this is the real victory over the cruel and barbaric machine of the German Nazi regime. My friend, this event is also called after Edward Mossberg, which I had the honor to meet here. I think that both of us Jews and non-Jews alike look up to Mr. Mossberg. Edward and his wife Cecily survived more terror than many of us could even begin to imagine at the hands of the German Nazi during the Holocaust, losing almost all of their family. And you know, as Jews, we have a notion called in Hebrew, hakarat hatov, meaning giving thanks and gratitude. And this is exactly why I came here today from Jerusalem mainly to thank you, those men and women sitting in the front row. I came to say thank you. To thank you to the known Polish righteous and to thank the countless unknown righteous, like the true heroes we give thanks to this evening. Because as a result of those righteous brave actions, hundreds and even thousands of Jews live and thrive today, both in Israel and worldwide. Now I ask you, what is bigger and greater thing to do than to risk your life, 
the life of your children, your wife, to risk everything you have in order to save other people's life. What is bigger than to risk a life of people you know and you love in order to save people you don't know? There is nothing bigger than that. There is no greater courage than this. You know, people mistake to think that courage, courage is the lack of fear. But courage is not the lack of fear, as Nelson Mandela once said. He said, courage is being afraid and yet to overcome this fear and to do the right thing. And this is why we owe a huge debt of gratitude to those righteous heroes. They did the right thing, risking everything they have and everyone they ever loved. We acknowledge you for that. We thank you for that. And like Governor Huckabee said, this evening we salute you all for that. I must also acknowledge the efforts of my good friend, my good friend Johnny Daniels. Before I met Johnny, I have to admit I would never have even considering coming to Poland. In fact, my Holocaust survivor grandfather forbade me from coming to Poland as long as he was alive. And I never did visit Poland before he died. But thanks to the work in Johnny and others, not only to remembering the past, but also to building the future, I can see Poland also differently today. I can look better on our desired future and understand more the complexities of the past. Today, what I want to see is a true commitment for a brighter future, also based on an honest and truthful look at our past, the good and the bad alike. So I promise to do all that I can to improve and to push forward the relations between, between our two great nations. It's important to Israel and it's important to Poland. I was honored to meet President Duda when he visited our Knesset in Jerusalem, and I hope to see also Prime Minister Morawiecki coming to Jerusalem soon. I would like to conclude by deeply and truly thank you all for coming here today at this very important and moving evening. To the righteous hero here, I say, Dziękuję bardzo. And to both of our nation, I say, never again, never again. Thank you very much.